Today I'm talking about the pilot to a TV show that I never really watched and would have made a much better video had I saved it for Halloween. This is Billy and Mandy. Now I know you're probably thinking, wait, if he hasn't seen the show, then why is he talking about it? Because he usually talks about stuff that he's interested in. Well, this still interests me. I'm very keen on finding out a lot about first TV shows, first movies done by now famous names, especially like student films like this one. So it still fascinates me, even though it's not by someone that I'm really keen on a lot of its work. This short was created in 1996 by Maxwell Adams and would eventually be the basis for the hit Cartoon Network show, The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. Now, since this was the creator of the show, Maxwell Adams' first attempt with these characters, of course, they have a couple of different clothing features and a couple of different facial features that people say, oh, it looks really, really different. But in my opinion, looking at the different character designs, it's in the middle, it's in a middle ground. It looks slightly different, but it's not too different. You can still tell which characters are which, and Grimm isn't even in this. Now, the question is, how do people even know what these original designs of the characters look like if we don't have the actual film? Well, that's because in 2006, a Grimm Adventures of Billy and Mandy tie-in game had this picture as an unlockable. Which is pretty cool to say the least, but then... Wait, someone must have the film, or at least... Stills. Anyway, anyway, we'll get to that mind-blowing fact in a sec. Right now, let's talk about the plot, which is short, but sweet. Mm -hmm. <sighs> The plot involves Billy wanting to release his inner demons. I don't know if that goes with the tone of the show, I'm pretty sure it does, but yeah. Deciding to go about doing so by drilling a hole in his head. I like it. I like it. Now, unsurprisingly, Adams knew it was, and I quote, completely inappropriate for Cartoon Network. But he knew he had great characters, so he had to use them again. Grimm was later added on in the show as a kind of straight man, or someone to counteract a crazy character. So, let me give an example of a straight man, or let me just show you an example from Billy Mandy. You have Grimm. He's a sensible person overall. I don't know much of his character, but I know that he's definitely more logical. And then you have Billy, who I know is very stupid and very crazy. Pretty much a straight man acts as the logic and reasoning, something that mm -hmm, certain shows don't have, or at least they don't do it well. <coughs> but anyway, yeah, that's an example of a straight man, someone pretty much to just be there as logic and reasoning. Now here's the mind-blowing fact about the film that I was hinting before. In 2013, our glorious lost media YouTuber, Rebel Taxi, had an interview with Maxwell Adams, and here's what he had to say about the film. I have it. He said, yeah, I have it. Thinking about having it digitally remastered and was on there, spam, it's not lost, but no one can see it at the moment. Similar to, um, what is it? Oh yeah, The Day the Clown Cried. Jerry Lewis and Nazis, something that doesn't go together. But I'll be talking about that another day. Anyway, I'll see you guys later on the Cartoon Catastrophe. I, I don't really care. Bye!